Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. This is the second part uh, in case of MIMO OFDM uh, series. In this video, I want to talk about uh, how to decode the symbols at receiver uh, and I want to talk about uh, the rank of the channel. So, this is the MIMO configuration that I had considered. Uh, uh, I had got uh, uh, only two transmit antennas and two receive antennas for the sake of simplicity, and these are the links. And uh, the equations at receiver can be written as shown here. And in the matrix form like this and uh, finally you know we can write it in a simplified version where we can derive the physical interpretation something which i had mentioned uh, in my previous video that would be something like this you know at uh, h1 bar vector we can transmit x1 and uh, h2 bar vector we can transmit h2 with these two h1 bar and h2 bar are the uh, you know uh, the co columns of the channel matrix h okay so using uh, this uh, physical interpretation let us see uh, uh, what we can do so the first uh, thing what i had considered is uh, you know to uh, transmit the same symbol uh, x1 on both the antennas uh, okay uh, so in this case i will what i will consider is uh, you know the h1 column uh, vector and h2 column vector or 1 1 and 1 1 for the sake of simplicity just for an example to understand the concept very well and to uh, understand how we can decode x1 and x2 very well so the y bar is y1 and y2 these are the receive received signal at uh, receiver antennas so as per the physical interpretation okay so i have transmitted x1 along the direction h1 bar right now at the receiver i should see in the same direction uh, h1 bar in order to get uh, uh, the x1 so that we can write it something like this x1 bar if i want to get it i should be seeing uh, in the same direction okay uh, i can write it like this so um, uh, this will turn out to be in this form so uh, i will substitute the values of uh, this one over here and even i will substitute uh, y1 and y2 and uh, how, how does it look if I substitute uh, even uh, 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 y1 and y2, I will get like this. So, in order to get uh, x1 add, if I solve what I will get uh, 2x1 plus uh, 2x1. So, this is x1. So, the final I will get 4x1. So, this is a 4 is uh, the scaling factor. You can divide it by 4 in order to get x1. So, I, I could able to recover back my x1. So, in this, in this uh, uh, case, right. So, let us uh, see what is the channel matrix in this case. So, channel matrix, if I write, it will come to be H1111. What is the rank of this? You can clearly see that 11 and 11 are in the same direction. Okay. If I want to draw this, uh, uh, you know, in case of, uh, uh, so I will write 1111. This is the channel H, right? So, if I want to draw this uh, in, the f in, in the physical plane, then it will be like, let's say, uh, something like this. Uh, 1 1 and in this uh, your x1 is transmitted right uh, this is the only one direction that is shown this, this first column is also representing the same direction and even the, the second also representing the same direction and on on that direction only the x1 is transmitted from both the antennas okay there is no other direction uh, th that is possible over here in this case since there is only one direction the rank uh, is actually just one the rank of the channel is 1 even mathematically as per the all linear algebra if you try to calculate if you see that this h1 bar and h2 bar these two vectors are uh, uh, linearly dependent and hence uh, you know the rank will be 1 so now let us see uh, the next uh, uh, you know uh, the next uh, case where I, I am going to give the symbol x2 okay so let me take a different color so i will give rather than x1 i will give x2 what will happen then? okay so then uh, uh, if i use this this these things then okay this is uh, x2 then how would my equation look like i want x1 bar okay so in this case it looks like 2x1 plus uh, you know 2x2 did i get back my x1 no there is an interference from x2 here it is uh, it was uh, not possible for uh, to recover 
uh, the x1 independently even if you try to solve for x2 add you know you will get 2x1 again 2x2 uh, again there is an interference from x1 so in this case it is not possible which means that uh, the channel matrix what i had considered as 1 1 1 1 since the rank is 1 you know you will not be in a position to transmit uh, the two different symbols across the two transmit antennas even if you transmit you will not be in a position to recover and then so under this condition when rank is equal to 1 uh, you can transmit only one symbol from the transmit antenna that is x1 okay i hope this concept is uh, uh, clear even the ra rank is clear now let us see you know if, if you if you want both x1 and x2 let us see uh, what uh, uh, we can do so i i want to transmit x2 right now i will consider a different channel condition that is 1 and minus 1 okay so in this case what is going to happen so i will come over here okay i want uh, x1 at so uh, yeah, yeah. i want x1 at okay what is my uh, this one received signal received signal is x1 plus 1 minus 1 and x2 this is what right this is uh, uh, h1 bar and this is h2 bar now as per the physical interpretation uh, you know these two are actually 90 degrees so h1 bar is 90 degree and h2 bar is uh, uh, you know separated from h1 90 degrees now if i want uh, x1 bar as i said i should be looking in the same direction so what is this direction 1 1 if i uh, do this one i will get 2 x1 plus uh, uh, you know i will get 0 you can clearly see that the component from x2 is uh, uh, nullified because uh, you know the the h1 bar is completely orthogonal to h2 bar so i could able to get x1 bar independent of x2 and similarly if you want to get uh, x2 i should be seeing uh, in the same direction as that of you know h2 bar which is this so you apply this equation over here then what would what would i get so 0 plus 2 x2 so i got my x2 independently so in this case if i consider the channel matrix h which is 1 1 1 minus 1 right if you calculate the rank of this the rank is equal to 2 hence in case of rank 2 you could be able to transmit to two symbols uh, uh, and uh, and at the receiver you were able to recover them independently and hence in rank 2 you know the spatial multiplexing is possible and hence uh, you can transmit to the data in two layers okay mathematically also using linear algebra you can check out and you can get that uh, the rank of this uh, h matrix is uh, but on high level with the physical interpretation you got to know uh, you know to get x1 at how you should be looking into the same direction as that of you have transmitted and uh, and the similar case of x2 and uh, why it was possible in case of uh, uh, you know the rank 2 and why it was uh, not possible in case of rank 1 that also we had seen i think uh, the concept is clear thank you very much bye bye